Check out BigBadToyStore.com for this and other great toys. Okay, I don't know about the kid in the spacesuit, but he just looks like a little yellow cuddly teddy bear. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP21 Bumblebee. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So it is your typical Masterpiece packaging, you know how this works, vehicle mode, robot mode. I'm calling him Daniel, I don't know if this says anything different, and if it does, I'm sure someone will tell me, but I'm calling him Daniel. And uh, here they're calling him just Bumble. He's just a, he's a, he's just a little bumble. He's just a little bumble. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Top of the box, Transformers Masterpiece. On the side, Bumble's doing all these bumble shooting. Bum, bumble shoot. Perfect. What's happening? On this side of the box, we have a picture of the vehicle come out. On the bottom, you got a bunch of stuff that I cannot read and some hologrammy sticker goodness of officialness. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other, all that good stuff. A lot of stuff that I cannot read. And all the stuff that is in the box. And that is basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, of course, included in the box is your official masterpiece collector's card. With Bumblebee there. Looking pretty cool. And on the back, you got your product shot and you got tech specs and more stuff that I cannot read because I can't read this language. So there you have that. And I did get the version that comes with the collector's coin. So here is the the, uh, the sleeve for it. Transformers Masterpiece. The silhouette of his head with a silhouette of his body. And uh, pretty cool. On the back you have the Autobot symbol. Lift it up. Transformers Masterpiece. Bumblebee Autobots. And here you have the nice gold coin there with Bumblebee's head. And Bumblebee, Transformers, and B-21. There you go. I always get the version that comes with the collector's coin, just because I like it. So if I if I had the option, I'll always get the version with the coin, because I like these. I think they're pretty cool. So there we have that. So let's get down to the nitty-gritty of the toys themselves. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this guy right here before we get to Bumblebee. So I'm going to put him off to the side. So here is, again, I'm calling him Daniel. Because I'm calling him Daniel. <laughs> you can call him Spike, Daniel, whoever. I'm calling him Daniel. So here we have Daniel uh, in his exosuit. And uh, very cool. And it is, you know, the nondescript Cybertronian thing with four wheels on it. Uh, <laughs> but still, I like it. It's pretty cool. It works. Nice details on it. Very cool. Very cool. Unfortunately, the dome on mine is cracked. If you can see right there, I got a cracked dome. Most people accuse me of having a cracked dome. But anyway, <coughs> you can't see Daniel's head in there. And this dome is removable. <coughs> Excuse me. The dome is removable. And you can see the head sculpt there. And, you know, not much detail. They painted his hair in the face. And they didn't paint in his eyes or anything else. It's, But simple, basic. And you just pop the dome back on. And there you go. And the wheels do roll, so they actually can roll pretty well. Um, he is, as you can see, quite small, like here he is with uh, Generations Bumblebee. You can see he's, he's definitely, uh, he's little, he's a little guy. But still, pretty cool. And to transform him into his, I was going to say robot mode, this is really a robot, I, maybe like a mech suit mode, exosuit. To transform him into his exosuit, robotic exosuit mode, I don't know what to call it. <sighs> Words. I know words. I really do. First thing you're going to do is you're going to untab these side panels right here. So you just tab in right there. Just untab that. And you're going to bring this whole hinge down to the side. Like that. So you get things out of the way. Then you're going to untab this section right here. See, so it just tabs right up in there. You're going to take the legs and extend them down. They're on a double hinge right there. You just take them, extend them downward. And there you go. Then you split the legs. You're going to take this panel and uh, bring this down. 
You're going to take this wheel, you're going to rotate it up on this hinge right here, and then take this wheel, untab it, you see it tabbed in right there. Just bring it around on this double hinge, like that. And that'll sit right in that cavity, and then the foot will rest right there. And it's cool that there's actually a little flat spot right there, and it rests right up against it. For stability! I like it. I like stability. It makes things more stable. Second very same as the first. You bring that down. Rotate that up. Take the wheel. Bring it around. Bring that foot the rest of the way up. And there you got the legs all done. These pieces right here, which are going to be the arms, you're just going to bring them down like that. You're going to take these panels right here, these sections, and bring them into the body like that. And then you're going to, you want to make sure these are out like that. You're going to take this whole assembly here, bring it up like that. And you'll see that will tab in right there. Just tab it in. Tab it in. You can then bring the arms down. Orient the elbows properly, and you're going to rotate this whole section like this on this hinge, just like that. And take the wheel, flip it up into the arm, and there you have that. Second verse, same as the first. Let's bring that around, bring that up. You see the little hands are molded in there. And then you want to remove this and bring his head down so he's not staring up. Just pop that back on, and there you go. There you got Daniel in his exosuit. Robot mech mode. I still don't know what to call it, but hey, there it is. And it's cool, and it does look like the one from uh, from the movie. And I like it. I like it very much. Pretty cool. You know, and it's simple. It's basic. Got the little guns there. Again, little hands molded in. But it, it looks like what it is supposed to look like. And pretty, pretty cool. Now, articulation-wise, the head can only move up and down. There's no rotation whatsoever. Um... The shoulders can only move upward and downward like that, and they only come down that far. That's as far as you can bring them down. You can bring them up all the way, but that's as far as they come down. Um, you can use the transformation joint to have him reach across his chest if you want. Uh, these elbows are on a ball joint, but it is a very limited ball joint. Not a lot of range of movement there at all. Um, nothing at the waist. Uh, these little side panels do move out of the way. Because the, uh, the hips are on ball joints, which is nice. you got a good range of movement there with the hips. Um, not a lot of backward movement because of this plate right here. Um, the knees, again, not a lot of movement. That's pretty much all you get. And you can move his feet up and down like that. So He's not the most poseable thing in the world, but technically, I don't think it's really supposed to be. But there you go. There's little Daniel. Here, Daniel's just precious. He is just so, so precious. So we'll put him off to the side. We'll put him back here, actually. He can hang out and watch the rest of the review from the sidelines. So now it's time for the main event, Bumblebee himself. And yes, he is a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen what? I have to look at the box. A Volkswagen Type 1. I don't know anything about cars, so I had to read the box. He is a Volkswagen Type 1. And, um, yeah, it looks like a, uh, a Volkswagen. A little, little bug. Got the uh, Volkswagen logo right there, done up in silver. Tampa Graft Autobot logo right there. Got the little headlights picked out. And also painted with some, uh, I don't know if that's red or orange. Looks like orange. Nice headlights. A little bit of silver right there. The rims done in silver with the Volkswagen logo molded in. It does look pretty good. It looks really, really nice. You got silver here on the handle, the door handles. The trunk is detailed. Got the rear tail lights done in transparent red plastic. And yeah, very, very nicely done. And these, uh, these uh, side view mirrors right here. Well, he only comes with one, and apparently that is correct. Um, I found that out. <laughs> apparently, it is correct that it, this uh, this model only has one side view mirror. Um, it does. <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. I was just about to be and then my tongue stops working. I know words. I know them. I do. <sighs> These side view mirrors do come on a sprue here, and you do get two of them. So in case you'll lose one or break one, you have a spare. So that's nice. And you just take it; it just plugs right into the side. No fuss, no muss. Really easy. So there you have that. He does roll 
quite nicely, quite smoothly. The underside, you can see a little bit of robot hanging out under there, but not too much. But very cool. And as you can see, he is quite small. He's tiny. He's, he's a little guy. He's a little wee guy. Again, here's Generations Bumblebee. And you can see that, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a little guy. Just a small, small little guy. So, yeah. He is little. Very, very little. And for other comparisons, here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. You can see how they look together. And here he is with the big guy. Excuse me, Daniel. Here he is with Prime. So you can see how they look together. I didn't flip out the side view mirrors. How dare I? He's going to get in an accident. So there you go. And of course, just says, you would guess, hey, I don't know. They always make it a point to put this on the box, so I'm going to make it a point to show it off. Look! Look! He fits in there. Yay! He fits in there. <laughs> they always make it a point to show it on the box. Look, it fits in the trailer. Okay. Yippee. That's not a really big selling point, but okay. I'm, 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 I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you made that happen. But anyway, it does come with accessories. It comes with his little pistol right here. Which is nice. Simple, basic. Done in a nice metallic paint. So you have that, and storage for the weapon. So here's a little notch right in here, and the handle's going to fit right in that notch. Just like that, just push it in, and it holds in nice and secure. So you have your weapon storage. He also does come with the spare tire, or the spare tire cover anyway. So you can also display him with this if you want. Now to do that, you want to remove this little license plate. You have to kind of get your nail under it. And I just cut mine, so I took away my advantage. I'm smart. There we go. And that just pulls right out. Now, one cool thing is that there's actually storage, even for this little piece right here, the license plate, because you see, there's a little notch cut out for it right there. And you just take it, plug it in. Yay! <laughs> I think that's neat. There's actually storage for that. And then you just take that and plug that in. And there you go. Now Bumblebee's got a spare tire. So there you go. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like that. That's that is a neat, a neat little feature. So there you have that. So let's just get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing you want to do is, of course, you want to take the weapon off. Oh, and one thing also, let me mention that uh, if you don't want to. If you don't actually want to uh, store that with the, um, plug this in, right? There we go. Plug that back in. If you don't want to use this and you'd rather store it somewhere else, there's actually a slot for it right there. You can just take it and plug that in under the vehicle mode as well. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. But me personally, I actually like Bumblebee with his spare tire on. And again, I think that's just really clever <laughs> that there's storage for that. So there you go. That's the way I'm leaving him. Anyway. But there is storage for that also. So first thing you want to do, of course, is you want to take the gun out, put that off to the side. And you want to come to these side panels right here, the doors, and you want to untab them. Like that. And just bring this whole assembly down. So want to bring the whole assembly down like that. You want to take this piece right here, you want to fold it up, and it will fit right into this, right into this slot. It's right in here. I don't even know if you can see it. There we go. It'll fit right in there. So do that, and then when you actually bring this whole assembly out, it will go right. You can kind of see where it's going. It's going into its own little chamber there. As you can see, there is enough room, too. Like, I I was really worried. The first time I saw this transformation, I was like, oh, my God, you're totally going to just... You're going to scrape that silver paint off of that logo and God knows what else. But no, there is enough room in there, as you can see. There is plenty of room in there. There's a gap. 
So there's room, so there's not much worry of anything scraping there. But anyway, I'm going to bring that down like that. I'm going to bring all this down like so. You want to untab these door sections. I just tabbed in right in there. You just want to untab those, untab that, split the legs, flip the feet down. You want to take the legs around a double hinge right here. You just want to bring them down all the way and they will click into place. Bring that one down, click it into place, take these wheels, fold them up like that, and then you're going to take the door, and you're just going to bring that around, bring that around, and there's just a little groove right in here for this tab, and that'll go right in there, and there you got the foot all done. Second of all, same as the first, you just bring it around, bring it around, tab that in, and there you go. You got your legs all done and ready to go. And Daniel looks so interested right now. <gasps> yes, he, he really is. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to come back here right in this taillight section. You're going to take this section right here. You're going to push it down because that will untab this whole assembly right here. So untab that. And then you're going to take these sections right here and bring them down like that. You're going to untab the arm. You see it just tabs in, tabs right there, and just tabs in right up in there. You're going to take this little side panel here, and it's on a double hinge. Just going to take it and swing it under the arm, like so. Flip the fist out, and then you're just going to rotate at the bicep swivel, 180. And there you get your arm all done. Second verse, same as the first. You just bring that down. Untab. Take this tail light here and bring it up under the arm. Flip out the fist. Rotate the arm. And there you got the arms all done. Now you're going to take this old backpack here. Bring it back, which will reveal the head. And then you're going to rotate this section also. Just like that. You're going to rotate it. You're going to take this rear bumper here. You're going to fold that in. Just like that. You're going to bring it down, and this tab right here will tab into that slot right there and lock all that in place nice and secure. And are we done? I think we're done. Yep, we're done. And there you go. There you got your bumper. Oh, wait. No, wait. There's one more step. Sorry. One, one more very important step. You just want to push this panel right here. Flip that around and give him his Autobot logo. There you go. Now he's done. So now we have Master Priest Bumblebee in his robot mode. And he's really cool. He's really neat. I really dig it. Oh, you want to take his shoulders too. Bring them up. There you go. But yeah. There he goes. He's really cool. He is a neat figure. I really, really like him. And very, very indicative of his on-screen model. I, I really dig this. It is just a neat, neat little figure. Getting closer on to head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. Really cool. Pictures made this head sculpt, well, made the face look a little weirder than it is in hand. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs> but very nicely done. Definitely G1 Bumblebee. And an all around very, very nice mold. Really cool. His big old feet. So yeah, very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. And articulation wise, he can look up. His neck is on this joint right here. And it can also rotate to a full 360. So he can look down, he can look up. Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint as well as this joint right here, which is more for transformation than anything. But hey, it could be of use. He can bring his arms all the way out. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. He does have a little more than 90 degrees of elbow movement. Uh, nothing at the wrists, unfortunately. Worst toy ever! No, just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, he does have a waist joint. The hips can go forward. They can go back. They can go in and out. You do get a thigh swivel. You do get nice range of movements there. At the knee, a little more than 90 degrees. That's that. And the feet can pivot up and down as well as some good tiltage. So, he is pretty poseable. 
but very, very cool figure. Really do like him. And of course, you can't hold his pistol. Plug him into his hand, and there you go. He can pew pew, bang bang some Decepticons. He can fight Ravage. I don't know. So, there you go. Me likes. Me likes. Very, very much. So, we'll bring in Daniel here so you can see how they look together. And, uh, yeah, it's, it seems about right. So, pretty, pretty cool. Now, he does come with some other accessories. He does come with an extra face. That's right. He comes with a little happy, smiling face. And to swap the faces, so just a little notch, little notch right there for your fingernail. And you just take it and just basically just violently rip his face off like that. And ah! Yeah, I know, I know. And then you just pop that in. And there you go. Now he's smiling. Now he's happy. He's a happy bumbo. He's a happy little bumbo. He's a happy little bumbo. Okay, I'm sorry. So, there you have that. Now, there is another face that is included with this package. This is uh, this was the exclusive face. And this is the G1 toy face. As you can see. Because I have it right here. You can see it is. It's the G1 toy face. Which is pretty cool. So if you want this to look like the G1 toy, you can totally do that too. Again, just rip his face off. And, ah! you, can, you, know, you can do it if you want. Whoa, hey, hey there, buddy. Don't give me no lip face. There you go. So I can look like the G1 toy if you want. Why not? Dare I say why not? But I don't really care for that too much. I actually like his little happy smiling face. No! I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I like his little happy smiling face, personally. But, there you go. But yeah, very cool figure. I, I really do like him. So, full comparison, here he is with Generations Bumblebee. Again, just so you can get a sense of how he scales. So, there you have that. And here he is with some of the other masterpieces. Here he is with Prowl. So there you have that. Here you have him with Sideswipe. And all these guys are basically the same size. Here he is with Wheeljack. So you have that. And here he is with MP10. Optimus Prime. You can see. I don't know if that's quite right. It might be. I guess it is. So you have him with that. And just because Daniel's here, here he is with Hot Rod. Let's see. Now he scales. The Hot Rod and Daniel can go fishing. Oh, they can go fishing together. Oh, look at that. Oh, reunited. They've been reunited. There you have that. And, of course, here he is with G1 Bumblebee, the keychain version, anyway. It's the only version I have. So, there you go. Brushush! Brushush. So, there you have that. So, yeah. Um, as far as Masterpiece Bumblebee goes, hey, again, as usual, they knocked it out of the park. I really love this figure. Really, really cool. I dig it. You know, I, I like the option of him having different uh, facial expressions. Um, very nicely done. Just all around very nicely done Masterpiece figure, as they've all, you know, as they all have been. Um, and definitely worth getting. If you have any interest in this whatsoever, I would definitely say pick him up. He is very, very cool, and I, I really do quite like him. The inclusion of, of Daniel or Spike or whoever you want to call this, again, pretty cool, and it does help kind of round out the price points. And, uh, yeah. I dig it. Very, very cool. Definitely worth getting. So, I think that's pretty much it. So, don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plant. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP21 Bumblebee. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.
Where's our bumblebee? Bumblebee! Bumblebee! Down here, Prime. Sometimes I forget how small you are. It's unsettling. Yeah, well, there's not much I can do about it. I'll talk to Wheeljack. Maybe he can get you some lifts. Yeah, I'll get right on that. So, um, have you seen Daniel anywhere? Uh, last I saw, he was with, uh, Hot Rod. Hot Rod? What's he doing with Hot Rod? You know what, this, I'm, I'm sure this is getting uncomfortable for you. Let's just, 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 just give me a minute. No, oh, okay. All right, there we go. There. You feeling more comfortable now? Not at all, sir. That's a good lad. All right. Now, where is Hot Rod? Um, I believe he said that he and Daniel were going to go, uh, for a ride? Hey, if you're gonna ride, Dano, ride in style! I didn't think this is what you meant!